So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for my birthday. Basically, my birthday was a few days ago, and uh, I was not expecting any of this stuff, uh, but through uh, kind of a turn of events, I got it. So here's all the stuff I got. Um, basically, back in, I think it was around December, late December, uh, it was near Christmas time, I found this amazing lot of stuff on eBay. Um, just tons of vintage locomotives and a bit of rolling stock, as you can see. Um, and I asked for it for Christmas, because uh, I didn't know I was going to get the stuff for my Reverossi Hiawatha, the parts. Uh, so I asked for this, and uh, my mom was like, oh, well, we'll see. Um, I did already get you some stuff, so, you know, it might not be kind of within the budget. But, uh... Anyways, so a few days rolled on, and then I thought, hmm, I wonder if I should buy this stuff with my own money, because, you know, it's just a great lot, um, and I don't think this type of thing is what you'll find every day. Uh, so that was, I think, on December 23rd, and then uh, I went on eBay that night uh, to go find it, because I thought, yeah, let's just get it, and the lot was gone. So I was kind of disappointed, uh, but... You know, you can't win them all. And then, uh, again, just a few days ago was my birthday, and there's this huge bag on the table, this great big uh, blue bag, light blue bag. I'm like, what's this? And they're like, oh, we got you some gifts. And I was like, oh, okay, I really had no clue. My sister told me it was a pillow, and I felt the sides of the bag. It really did feel like a pillow. It turned out it was just wrapped in tons of bubble wrap. And I open it up, and it's just all these random bubble wrap things. I'm like, what the heck did they, what did they get me? Um, and I unraveled one of them and I saw this and I'd remembered it from the lot and I was like, no way, that's impossible. So they, what had happened was she wasn't sure if the parts were going to come in for the Hiawatha and just went ahead and ordered this. And the idea was that if the parts didn't come in for Christmas, I would get them on my birthday and I could get this for Christmas. But as you know, the parts came in on Christmas, and I got these for my birthday. So now I have this amazing lot of stuff that I really wanted. So I'm going to start off first with the rolling stock. Uh, this is broken. It's missing a set of wheels. I don't think that's going to be a hard fix. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I just find this kind of a cool piece. Uh, this is quite nice. I think it's by... Uh, it's made in Italy. Not sure if you can see the make. I've never heard of that one before. Uh, but there's that. This, I believe, is an old Manoa. It's a Santa Fe. It's pretty nice. Um, and now on to the engines. Uh, this first one, its tender is in pretty bad shape. It's missing all of its wheels. Uh, the Loco is also in quite poor shape. Um, I've actually restored this quite a bit since I got it. All these driving spokes, you can kind of see they're a bit uneven. These were really bent. Something damaged this thing. And I was almost sure the motor was burnt out, because usually what happens is these spokes get bent, and then people try to run them, and then they fry the motor. Whoever had this one um, evidently never did run the motor, because it was still in perfect shape. So, uh, yeah, what I did, I completely disassembled it. Uh, took some pliers, bent all the spokes back into place. Um, and it actually runs somewhat smoothly now, so... Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys know where I can get parts for this thing, that would be amazing if you could comment that down below because it's missing a cab and it's also missing this front piece. So if you spot any parts like on eBay or anything, please let me know because I'd really love to see this thing in its uh, full farm again. Uh, next is this. This is a Reverossi. It's not the, a not the kind made by AHM. It's just a four-wheel shunter. Um, it does not have anything in the front that's all gone. It did have driving uh, spokes, but they some of them were missing screws. So I just took those off. Um, the motor was in really, really rough shape. I, I took it off and I could not I could barely get it to turn. I thought, oh, it's old grease. But you could turn it a bit. It, it was just very, very stiff. Um, and I've had that happen before, so I suspected, oh, there must be some hair caught around the drive shaft. So I was like, I'll just take out take the motor apart and get that out, but um, I found out with these more modern Reverossi motors, uh, they do not have any screws. These are just kind of bolted in, so you cannot take apart these motors. So it was pretty much uh, 
try to do whatever I can to fix this motor or just throw the motor out because it's pretty much trashed because I don't unscrewing the bolts would require you having to put something else there it would probably just break the motor so uh, I took a bit of a radical move I took the motor out and I put a lot of lubricant around it and then I took a drill and just ran it now this is awful to do to any motor because it will do damage kind of the metal if there's dirt inside of it but it was either do that or um, throw it away basically so I just did that um, and when you know it, all the hair came out, all this nasty, uh, dirty, uh, greasy hair, it all came out. And when I tried turning with my fingers, it was like new, it was amazing. So then I tested it and the motor worked fine. So once I took off the drive rods and uh, put this back together, lubricated uh, this piece, um, I had a working motor, it, uh, a working engine, I should say. Um, it looks pretty bad. It's only one piece of duct tape away from something you might see red green going around in, but uh, you know, it's kind of cool. It does work now. Uh, I also got the headlight working, so that was pretty nice. I don't know this thing. Uh, this is really cool. I could be wrong. I heard somewhere that these types of locos were made in Japan. Um, it did have, here, let's see if I can find it here. This was the coupling that came on it. It's, I've never seen this before. It's some foreign coupler of some kind. No clue who it's made by. I believe that's brass. Um, and I think it has a four pole motor. I took it apart and I think I counted four poles. So it's actually a, a pretty nice runner. It's very loud because it needs new grease, but um, I really like this Loco. I think it's very nice. It reminds me a lot of the Atherin Hustler, <coughs> except it uh, doesn't go like a thousand kilometers an hour scale speed. Uh, it's one of the nicer parts of the lot. It's a Atherin Union Pacific. Uh, the handrails are quite bent, it's missing this part. Um, but I've tested it, it does run. Uh, the lights work. Um, and of course, since it's an Atherin, you know, it has, I think, two flywheels, so it's a very, very smooth engine. It accelerates and slows down at a very nice rate. Um, so with a bit of work, re-lubricating this one, and uh, it also may need some new wheels because some of these have actually rusted. I can't find the rusted. There's one of these wheels is, yeah, your camera's not doing it justice, but this wheel is very rusted. Um, so I might need to get some new wheels, but this is a, a very nice loco. It's nice, too, that it has all of its handrails. Uh, this one is just awesome. Get the camera to focus here. So, uh, basically, I, I don't think this one was made by Rev Rossi. It was made by AHM, but I think this was a Rev Rossi design. You can see the bottom there. Um, so, I got this Loco and this one there. They're both the same make, both AHMs. Uh, they both run really, really well, um, but unfortunately, they were. It sounded like the motor was going, you know, you can just kind of hear the motor's speed. It sounded like the motor was going ridiculously fast, um, and that's because the traction tires on these things were completely dry rotted. I've never seen a case of dry rot on tires as bad as this one. I literally just took a screwdriver and they crumbled in my fingers. But uh, when I did run them before the tires completely came apart, these were very smooth runners. So I think with new traction tires, these are going to be some great runners. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I did have an idea a few days ago, which is that I could start up a new series where I show how all the engines from all these lots um, turned out. Because basically, you know, I keep collecting these lots, and for some of the engines out of those lots, I do repair videos on them. But some of them just have very, very simple problems. Um, and I, I think it would be silly, because the video would only be like a minute long. So, uh, basically, yeah, I would just do a video where I show the ones that I have got working that had simple issues running. Uh, maybe v engines I showed in the past videos that I got working, but they were not working very well. You can see how they're working now. So let me know in the comments if you want that, because uh, it would probably be pretty cool.